Four rounds scheduled here. Pat Manuel, 129 pounder. Joseph Diaz Jr. and Mercito Hester with that. Joe Gonzalez working our way towards the main event, which can be. Yeah, Pat. Patricio Manuel, a transgender dude boxer, snagged his third win this month when he took down Alex Gutierrez in a solid decision in a four round super featherweight bout. Manuel, 37, was the first trans boxer to step into the pro ring in 2018. He also aced it back then against Hugo Aguilar. Game will come after you. Wayne, Wayne is trying to smother the punches right now. Oh. Less than a minute to go in the opening round. Side Ooh. On his leg, he showed us that. Got another W, a few stitches, chilled with my crew, did what I love with some hustle, but no compromise. Overall, 10 10. Manuel posted on Insta about his June 8th victory over Gutierrez. Joe, I mean, Joe, sorry about that. And when you're the first bout of the night, like these guys are, it's a little different. And when you've dropped somebody, you don't want to get too excited right away. That, that's when you get clipped. You can hear people for him. More jabs. Why do you want to see jabs? Set up, set up the shots for the 14 and 0, 12 KOs. We see him in the ring later on this year. Big shout out to my squad and sparring buddies for the help. A Heather McFeather for the weight cut. A Golden Boy for the big stage. My opponent for stepping up, and all the peeps who cheered for me, whether in the stands or on the screen. Main event tonight, Joe George that here for the Walter Pyramid on the campus of. And to the third round, Beth the Durant, Joe's win, you know, he's he's not he's not here to just take a dive. He's he's here to fight, he's here to stay and but when you're the first um and you know being young, uh young, oh. ooh, low blow. Um and, um and you know being young uh young, oh. ooh, low blow. I saw feeling blessed that this is the life I've crafted for myself and that I get to vibe with so many awesome folks. Manuel's now 3-0 since going pro on the men's scene. He took down he and Huayn back in March. He made headlines again in January when he called out World Boxing Council over their move to segregate trans boxers. 10 years now. Here's the boxing, now you guys have your own boxing gym. Pat Manuel has Pat wins in the corner. Here. He doesn't want to be there. His dream was always to be a pro fighter, Pat Manuel, doing that here. We work towards Joseph Diaz Jr., Mercito Hesta. Mercito Hesta. Oh, the boy in Long Beach. Offsetting it up with the jab, an overhand right right there. That's the one that landed. Um, COVID, COVID hit, and then fights that were going to happen, but this one was... It's heartbreaking that the WBC, a bigwig in my sport, thinks I don't belong in the ring as a dude, Manuel said via Athlete Ally. With the WBC's values of sportsmanship, diversity, and respect via WBC Cares, I thought this new policy was about inclusivity for trans boxers. But really. And a nasty cut has ended it. The doctor. Manuel dropped his opponent in the first and nasty cut. Cut Manuel. Let's see right here. Was a, a, Venezuela and his team, Duarte Boxing. Duarte Boxing got a big donation from Austin. You bring it. What about that for you, Joe? When you guys bring your kids from your gym, and, I, and it feels good to see you know the smile on the faces. Yeah, but those kids are loud, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They... Patricio Cacahuate Manuel. Patricio Manuel. Let's look at the replays here. It's dehumanizing by saying trans guys ain't guys and trans gals ain't gals. That rhetoric clashes with top-level sports governing bodies policies and my own life experience. Off the show, um, and you know, being young, uh, young oh, ooh, low blow, um, 
And you know, being young, uh, young. Oh, oh, low blow. I saw.